he and I, the split of food, real lash. I couldn't believe that I prepared this split of food. However, it was amazing. So here how this all started, right? I was feeling for some macaroni pie and some other Trinidadian food that I'm accustomed to having. So I got on Amazon and I ordered a pack of macaroni. It cost a little change, but it was worth it in the end. So guys, keep on watching as I prepare my Christmas meal. Well, this Christmas meal happened after Christmas in reality. So this is the macaroni that I got off of Amazon. Guys, I was really impressed with this quality of macaroni it really did what it was supposed to do this is me just being all extra touching up the pack like you know like i never seen macaroni before i i'm adding my macaroni to the water now i'm not going to be breaking it up you all i'm leaving it i'm leaving it at that length and allowing it to cook i have i need to check the pack to see how long it will take for this to cook though i don't want it to well to soft you know al dente as they say so for those of you who may be wondering what is a macaroni pie macaroni pie is like the best thing that you could ever eat in your entire life and trinidadian macaroni pie even better so it's similar to macaroni and cheese just that we add a little more love in this pie when we prepare it so i didn't really have all like the original classic ingredients for my macaroni pie but i made what i had work and it was amazing it added to the spread which you all will see in a little while so kind of creamy cheese i also have this mature british mature extra cheddar cheese i also have this cheddar cheese as well all right it's already grated. I don't have a grater at all. It's just it's shameful. And then I have some mozzarella that I'm going to be adding to it as well. So those are the cheeses that I'm going to be adding. I'm also going to be adding some butter. I don't usually add eggs to my macaroni pie. But in light of it keeping it traditional, I'm going to be adding probably one egg. Yeah and evaporated milk as you can see so while the macaroni boiling i decided to get my cheeses and other ingredients ready so this is what i'm doing here i'm removing the cheese from the plastic wrap and adding it to a bowl which was a bit of a bummer which you all will see in a little while so guys this is ready to be strained so that's what i'm gonna do now so the science behind this was adding the hot macaroni to the cheese so that it could combine and melt into the macaroni before I add any other ingredients. What I did wrong was added the cheese to the bowl first. I should have added the hot macaroni and then the cheese to the macaroni. Anyway, I did overcome it because I'm an overcomer. I overcame it and, and it worked out eventually. This is how you know the thing proper when it's making that nice song there. This is music to my ears, you all, because I mean, anybody who has been making macaroni pie for some time knows how the text you're supposed to feel and how it's supposed to look and how it's supposed to sound. Anyway, this is my pie all ready to be popped into the oven. So that's what we're going to do and now. And if you're like me, you're going and kill two birds with one stone. So I am also going to be adding some pork to this rack that you're seeing here. And I'm going to be popping those two bad boys in the oven at the same time so that they can bake together. And while that's going, we're going to fry up some chicken in the meantime. So this is the setup here, you all, because on the menu, we are also going to be having some homemade fried chicken. And just like that, we done cook. This was the spread, you all. We had some tomatoes. That was my vegetables. Fried chicken, macaroni pie, some baked pork. That was dessert of banana bread. 
and I did some rice and peas. Guys, I have become a professional in making rice and peas. I'll probably share the recipe with you one of these good old days. So this is me here now getting ready to serve myself up a plate of food. But before we do that, let us take a moment to admire how amazing this pie looks. You all, I kid you not, this pie lash on every level it tasted amazing and it was the show supper of my spread everything else tasted amazing but in fact the mere fact that i didn't have macaroni pie for the longest while and i was able to make it was amazing this is me here tasting my food and guys i was blown away at the way it tasted it was like i put some extra love in this food when i was making it Really and truly. When I truly cook for you, you get you get through.